Hi there beautiful soul, welcome back to You Are The Miracle with Grada Robertson. Uh, I have a channel that's called You Are The Miracle and um, and also of course my Grada Robertson channel. So I, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Grada Robertson and I wrote a book that's called You Are The Miracle. And every Monday night at 8 o'clock I want to go through some practices and helpful uh, thoughts or mind shifts uh, we work together to help you release miracles in your life because miracles do happen you are a miracle worker um, and miracles actually have a kind of a there is a system or an art and a science to it and uh, I am here with you to help you explore them tonight I want to remind you that um, you are the healer that you've always been looking for. So as human beings, we are programmed and gaslighted to not believe in ourselves, to think we can't do this or we can't do that, or it's too big for me, or I am not worthy, or I don't deserve a miracle, I don't deserve healing, I don't deserve that love. Uh, I deserve hardship, I deserve struggle. There's so many programs that we run our lives on and um, sadly a lot of those beliefs, uh, limiting beliefs and negative ideas are not true. We just cling to them. To us they are true because it, they become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I want to tell you a little bit how it all changed for me. I already used to believe that if it's up to me, if it's to be, it's up to me. That used to be my favorite motto in life. Like I used to take on big projects and I had a busy life with six children. We used to farmstead in the back of beyond and then we moved to Forth um, 20 years ago and I, we opened our own business. We created a wellness center and in amongst all that I studied and so on. And I always kind of had this inherent belief that if I can conceive of an idea, I can achieve it. Um, if I just work hard enough or focus hard enough and so on. And also when it came to healing my body, I was never mm -hmm. sick. Um, my children weren't sick very often either. So I kind of had healthy ideas around what I was capable of. And then it was all put to the test in January 2016. Uh, 2006 um, when on a beautiful sunny quiet day and I was a pedestrian on a quiet road in force a truck came along and crashed into my back and clean swiped me off my feet um, I didn't lose consciousness except for like a split second when I had a near-death experience and because and then I was floating above my body and I could see what was happening to me and um, how bad my body looked as well and I guess I made a decision to come back into my body but it happened so fast that I had no really conscious recollection of it and that's when I realized I had to put my favorite motto to the test which is if it's to be it's up to me and um, so Thankfully though, like for the medical world, so I had blood transfusions and I had uh, operations and so on, but, and I had to lie very, very still for 12 weeks and I had spinal injuries, so I had to have a colostomy bag and I was paralyzed in my bladder as well and the doctor said that I wouldn't be able to have a normal life again, that I wouldn't be able to uh, walk again. I would have a colostomy bag for the rest of my life and so on and have, I had to live with my injuries and probably need a like, double hip replacement by the time I'm 50 and so on. And so I listened to all that but I didn't believe it. Um, so how I, uh, I got better very very quickly, I made full recovery. Uh, even after a couple of years my spinal injuries completely recovered I was able to have my colostomy back reversed and my actima bladder started working as well so I wasn't paralyzed anymore and every day I am so grateful because you know I go into town and I see people on crutches or with a walking stick or in a wheelchair and I know that could have easily been me 
because but the difference is I didn't give up on myself and I find it with my clients or you might be the same I find that people give up too easy they give up on themselves too soon even like the, there is way more improvement that you can make or you know the, the miracle can be just around the corner and the miracle can be in your uh, physical health your mental health and of course in your relationship with your loved ones your key relationship in your life if it's sticky there and you need a miracle it can happen and also of course with your finances it's all the same thing the miracle comes from within you so I quickly learned pretty much from the second that the truck hit me and I had a near-death experience I quickly realized that it was entirely up to me the quality of life I was going to have um, from that moment on right and so I was able to connect with the energy that runs behind everything right so I want you to realize for those of you who are listening to me for the first time that you are so much more than your thinking you're not your mm -hmm. thinking in mm -hmm. fact the true self is behind your thinking and behind your emotions and behind your behaviors and behind everything is this your perfect self the real you your soul or your consciousness your infinite beingness is there waiting for you to connect with with you and that becomes your partner in your life you could also perhaps call this your soul or your unconscious mind or your spirit infinite source it's connected to the infinite source of the universe which is another word for God or the universe or the creator and so there is that part of you that's always connected to source it's never not connected you are never disconnected it feels like that sometimes you know when people have suicidal thoughts they feel disconnected and when you feel disconnected in your relationships it sure feels like that but the truth is you're always connected and so how do you tap into into that because this is also where you get the energy from to heal your life to heal yourself this energy is different to the energy that you get from sleeping and from food right this is pure light source energy that travels through your body it travels through every cell of your body I can see how that um, travels in people's bodies I can see where it's blocked and how it's affecting people and then I can gently unblock it so the person feels uh, great again like in miracles unfold I had to do that for myself as well and I and I also teach my students how to do that so inside your body is the healer that you've always looked for and this healer this all-knowing part <coughs> can heal every part of your being can make you abundant peaceful and it clears you know all the conditions that are holding you back and so other people will not show you how to do that right because this is not a one size fits all um, kind of thing because you're unique right your needs are unique your gifts are unique and uh, your essence which is your true self is also unique so the key process to connect with it is by slowing down just slow yourself right down and also take your attention further into the back of your body so like out here life is very very busy we often get anxious and nervous and worry and stress all happens in the front in the energy in the front of our body and if we want to calm down and connect with uh, that source of infinity our true healer uh, the all-knowing part of ourselves we have to literally lean back into our body so I'm just going to do that with you now for a second and then I'll just see if we can if I can help you connect into this part of you that's like an island of perfect peacefulness and calm and perfect health and inside, inside that island of you is the blueprint for perfect health perfect abundance and also 
for true love because the universe truly really wants you to have a great life it doesn't want you to have a life of scarcity and pain right so let's see if we can do that really really fast so it's like breathing out and breathing in and just drop your attention into the body into your belly even and think of a dolphin how you like breathing in and breathing out and when you're breathing in it's like adrenaline is kind of uh, released because breathing in is activating your fight and flight center breathing out is activating your rest and digest center and it's like releasing um, serotonin or the happy hormone so like breathing out serotonin is increased like a dolphin just think of a dolphin going up and down through the sea and let's do that with our internal chemistry in the body so breathing out and breathing in and connect to the center of your body that is like this core center of you that runs through you and just ignore your mind just put your mind on zero and if it's like a whispering in your ear or if it's critical or judgmental just look at it with compassion for yourself and kindness turn on that compassion dial think of the dolphin and the dolphin is like your soul like your soul is not affected by by like all the ups and downs and like the stresses and the conflicts so breathing in releasing serotonin breathing in and out releasing serotonin and adrenaline is slowing down getting ready to to rest and to relax and just be like the dolphin feel the happy waves you're allowed to be happy you can give yourself permission to be happy and just drop into the back of your head now for a minute and experience the peacefulness there's a natural center of peace and calm in the back of your head but further back like a center of nothingness a zero point point of stillness from that zero point you can create anything a completely new life new cells new ideas new love new energy new money new opportunities and then at the back of your heart there's another zero point so just go into the back of your heart center maybe it feels a bit heavy or contracted just allow it to open up and then you drop into the back of your belly there's another really powerful receiving center just to think of receiving miracles being open to support and miracles from the universe being open to that invisible energy feel your bum on the chair feel your legs on the floor feel yourself become real grounded and happy and restful and the more you do this the more um, fresh vital energy is flowing into your body body it's bubbling up going into all the cells of your body making you feel younger more alert brighter more grateful more loving more calmer just remember the dolphin um, going through the sea just swimming and having lots of joy your sole purpose is to have joy nothing else that's all the rest is secondary that's really what i should say if you're not having much joy in your life um you need to perhaps start thinking of being a dolphin how can i be this dolphin in my daily life like what is going to give me joy 
and so you go into that direction a bit more and then you also can think of all the things or circumstances or people or situations that are um, that are draining you, that are robbing your joy and just see if you can do away with those situations. I mean I had to do all that after I got hit by a truck to stay alive. I had to prioritize uh, what gave me life, what filled my body with life energy and I had to cut away all the things literally that drained my life force, right? Otherwise I would have died or I would have perhaps stuck, uh, remained stuck on a wheelchair, maybe I wouldn't even have been able to sit up. Some people end up lying flat on their back for the rest of their life and it could have easily been me, right? So we have all these resources available at our fingertips and you have to prioritize you because your life is important, your joy is important to the universe. Your life matters, your light matters, you came here for an important reason. You are so much bigger than you think you are. You can literally heal every part of your life. You can absolutely make a comeback from anything. You can recover from everything and there is energy available to you coming at you from every direction in big funnels right and it's just really up to you to notice where you block that flow of abundant energy from the universe that's coming towards you and uh, and you can do that by slowing down turning off the monkey mind and just doing that simple exercise that I did with you like being the dolphin breathing out and releasing serotonin and just keep focusing on the out breath <coughs> And if you need help, if you feel stuck, um, if you want to, you know, shorten that time frame between you and the results that you want, come and reach out to me. I have programs and I see people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there are many opportunities for you just around the corner and sometimes you just need a little bit of help. So I'm here to help you. So is Peter and my team, my support team can reach out to you as well. Thank you everyone for listening and so just remember it. you are the healer that you're always looking for. Stop looking around you. The blueprint of perfect health and your perfect life is already within you. That means inside of you, inside of every cell of your being. And so just slow down so, and reach into it. Give yourself the chance. Uh, to completely transform your life. Thanks for tuning in everyone and I look forward to being with you again next Monday. Uh, all being well at 8 o'clock. Bye for now. Have a great week.